Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone, I'm Rabi Center Azhar. On this occasion, I will explain the following to you all about all the material that I learned in customer relationship management. So let's start the explaining. CRM definition. CRM definition or customer relationship management based on Francis Barton, 2004. CRM is a strategic strategy in business that interprets internal process and function with all external networks, internal process and function with all external networks to create and realize value for target customer profitability. The importance of CRM imp implementation for companies first, reduce cost because it is more effective than and efficient. Second, increase customer satisfaction and loyalty because customers get what they expect. Third, increase the number of customers. And the last one, long-term and sustainable profit. AI implementation in CRM. AI is uh, the technology building smart machines able to perform tasks that generally need human intelligence in machines that are programmers to think and act like humans. The benefits of an AI driven CRM tool first, providing your customer with instant response, next is effective data management, next, improve customer satisfaction. Next, increase accuracy in prediction of customer behavior. Next, improve employee satisfaction. Next, elevated customer service capabilities with an LP. Next, optimize sales strategy. And the last is reduce time and cost. The customer experience. The customer experience encompasses every interaction the customer has with your organization throughout the customer the customer life cycle. In person over the phone online. At the heart of the customer experience is a clear and compelling value proposition that is a product or service that satisfies a customer need or want at every touch point in the customer journey. The three top reasons why business proactively manage and invest in customer experience are to first, improve customer retention, second, improve customer satisfaction, third, increase cross selling and upselling. Uh, addressing of each of these reasons can positively impact bottom line growth. Customer Portfolio Management Customer portfolio are the collection of mutually exclusive customer groups that comprise a business entire customer base. Customers Customers in a B2B context are very different from customers in a B2C context. B2C customers are end customers, individual or household. B2B customers are organizations like companies or ma manufacturers or retailers or institutions like non-profit or government agencies. Retailers are in the institutions or non-profit or government bodies. CPM practices in the B2B context are very different from those in the B2C context. In the B2C, B2C context. Basic disciplines of CPM. First is market segmentation. Market segmentation involves dividing the target market into distinct groups based on specific characters such as demographic, behavior, or preference. This discipline helps organizations identify and understand their customers better, allowing them to tailor their marketing strategies and offerings to specific segments for improved customer satisfaction and profitability. Sales forecasts Sales forecasting is the process of estimating future sales volumes or revenues. It involves analyzing the historical data 
market trends, and other relevant factors to predict future demand for a company's product or services. Accurate sales forecasting enables organizations to plan their resource effectively, make informed business decisions, and optimize their overall performance. Activity-Based Costing Activity-Based Costing or ABC is a method for allocating costs to specific activities or process based on their consumption of resource. This discipline helps organizations understand the true costs associated with their products or services by considering the various activities involved in delivering them. ABC provides a more accurate picture of cost compared to traditional cost method, allowing companies to identify cost drivers, optimize process, and enhance profitability. Next, estimation of customer lifetime value. Customer lifetime value or CLV is a metric that quantifies the net value a customer brings to a company over their entire relationship. Estimating CLV involves analyzing customer behavior, purchase history, and future revenue potential to determine long-term value of each customer. These disciplines help organizations identify their most valuable customers, allocate resource effectively, and develop strategies to maximize customer retention and profitability. Data mining Data mining refers to the process of discovering patterns, relationships, and insight from the large volume data. In the context of CPM, data mining involves analyzing customer-related data such as purchase history, preference, and interactions to extract meaningful information. By leveraging data mining techniques, organizations can uncover valuable insight about customer behavior, preference, and needs, enabling them to make data-driven decisions and implement target marketing strategies. <coughs> customer relationship management. Today, is all, it, it is about the customer experience. Congrats means this is not new to hospitality field. Customer success means value expansion and retention. Brand loyalty means customer advocates. Self-service means multinational access. Many companies are implementing and monitoring CX strategies to improve their customer experience. Being a trust advisor and partner. First, participate in the business strategic planning. Next is building an IT strategy that aligns to the business objective and strategy. Next is helping the business to clearly define requirements for specific IT enabled projects. Next is overall to help the organization provide the best services and customer experience. Next enable a business to be proactive. Next, enable enforce productivity and do it in a cost-efficient manner, help the business realize a cost savings where feasible. Next is assist in streamlining communication and the last one is enhance managerial decision making. The purpose of CRM, basically it helps nurture relationship with the customer for long-term sales, although the underlying principle in CRM it is, is not to squeeze out more profits but to make customer happy, which in the turn results in product loyalty and more revenues for the business. CRM technology, software that allow business to manage and analyze its interaction with its customer, current and potential. It uses data about a customer interaction with the company with the goal it to improve its relationship with customer and to increase customer retention and ultimately driving sales support. Okay, that's all from me. Thank you so much for paying attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.